So hello and welcome to our study of mathematical biology one. So in this happens to be the third lesson and in this video we'll be talking about the basic reproductive number R naught. So I'm going to kind of a final year student of mathematics K and USD. Okay, so the basic reproductive number is denoted by R naught. And this is the definition for it. It's the average number of secondary cases caused by a single infected person in a completely susceptible population. Okay. So let's say um, three people have infections in the population. So person A, person B, person C. And person A has transmitted it to person four in a day, person B two, person C, let's say eight. Okay, so when you find the average, you're going to get um four plus two plus eight all over. Um let me do this. Five. Mm. So four plus two plus mm, five. That's giving okay. Let me do this six. So plus six. So when we do this, you're going to get twelve over three, which will give you four. So the average is four. So what this means is that four is the average number of secondary cases caused by an infected person in a completely susceptible population. Okay. So that's what the R naught means. So let's talk about a certain theorem called the threshold theorem. So the threshold theorem says that the epidemic will not get started unless the initial number of susceptibles exceeds a certain threshold value. That's R not being greater than one. So if the basic reproductive number R0 is computed and we have a value greater than one, then that means that an epidemic is going to occur, okay? So if R0 is greater than or equal to one, then the infectious disease will spread in a susceptible population. On the other hand, if R0 is less than one, then the infections will die out in a susceptible population. So how do we interpret the values for R0? So if we compute our R0 and we get a value which is greater than one, then it means we are going to have an epidemic. And note that an epidemic is an infectious disease which spread rapidly, very fast in a community and it occurs in a community for a very short time. Then. An endemic is when our R0 is equal to 1. Okay, and an endemic is an infectious disease which spreads very slowly and occurs in the community for a very long time. So an example of an epidemic can be measles. Endemic can be something like cholera. Then, when the R0 is less than 1, then we see the disease is dying out, okay? So now let's just derive the formula for a uh, basic reproductive number R0. So from the differential equations from the SIR model, we have these three equations. I know by now you are familiar with them. So with these three differential equations that we have, it's only the second equation which happens to be the disease class. So this is where we have those who are infected, okay? So for a disease to spread, then we have to take the equation from the disease class and impose an inequality on it. And the inequality we impose on it is that the IDT should be greater than or equal to zero, okay? 
So note that the IDT is this. So that means when you make substitution, you're going to get beta SI minus gamma I is greater than or equal to zero. Then we can decide to send this here. That will give us beta SI is greater than or equal to gamma I. Then we can decide to divide through by I. So dividing through by I is going to gamma I. So we decide to divide through by gamma I, sorry, instead. So dividing through by gamma I is going to give us what we have here. And this cancels this. And I cancels I. So we will have beta S over gamma is greater than or equal to 1. OK. But we have said that for an infectious disease to spread, OK, or for an epidemic to, for uh, yes, an infectious disease to spread, our R0 should be greater than or equal to 1. OK. So comparing these two inequalities, 1 and 2, then we can say that R0 is equal to beta S over what? Gamma. So from here, then we say that our R0 is equal to beta S naught over gamma. OK. That's the formula for computing our basic reproductive number. You know, sometimes the entire population is acceptable. For instance, when we are in a population and a visitor introduces an infectious disease, it means in this case, the entire population becomes the people who will be initially susceptible. So in this case, n is equal to S0. So in some books, you find R0 equals beta n over gamma. And it means the same thing, OK? All right, so there's explanation to it. But when a disease is introduced by a visitor into a population, in this case, the entire population becomes susceptible. So here, S0 is equal to N. And therefore, we have this, OK? So that was the formula for R0. That's how we can derive the basic reproductive number R0. So in our next video, we'll talk about the final size relation for the SIR model, OK? So I'm worried you can render finding students of mathematics, KNUSD. It has been coming away with this video. So see you in the next video.